Welcome to the Green It Up Club. I'm Michael and today we're talking about UV light. So you might have seen some of our other videos on vitamin D and sunlight, but we haven't really gone into UV light. That's ultraviolet light. That's what we get when we're going out and getting sun exposure. Now this subject can be quite confusing, so hang on and we're gonna go into it. First, just a quick recap on the benefits of vitamin D and sun exposure. Vitamin D slashes your cancer risk by 67%. Higher vitamin D levels improve your body composition. That means better bone health, better cognitive function, better immune system function, healthier pregnancies, and infant development. Sun exposure increases nitric oxide production, which lowers your rates of cardiovascular disease. Sunlight modulates genetic expression, which has an anti-inflammatory effect on your body. And UV light is a potent anti-infective, which means it kills viruses and bacteria, and even drug-resistant bacteria. So vitamin D and sunlight exposure are obviously great for you. However, it's not as simple as getting out in the sun more often to get the benefits. So now we have to ask the question, what is UV light? Great question, thank you for asking that. So UV stands for ultraviolet, and this is actually radiation that comes from the sun. And there are three different forms of ultraviolet radiation. UVA, which is the long wave, UVB, which is the shorter wave, and UVC, which is the shortest. Now UVA is the strongest of the three waves, and it's able to penetrate very deeply. UVB is a little weaker, and UVC is so weak that it stops at the ozone layer and doesn't even penetrate to our Earth's surface. Now UV radiation can be really confusing and there's a lot of misinformation out there and there's a lot of old information that people are just sticking to without looking at the research. So I looked at the research for you guys. This quote is from the Skin Cancer Foundation, skincancer.org. Our understanding of exactly what kinds of damage each causes to the skin and how best to protect ourselves seems to shift every year as new research comes out. For example, it was once thought that only UVB was of concern, but we keep learning more and more about the damage caused by UVA, and new improved forms of protection against UVA keep emerging. Keeping up with these new developments is a worthwhile challenge that can help all of us prevent sun damage. Now they're obviously focused on skin cancer, but they're talking about that it's been very confusing and new research keeps coming out and we keep learning more things about how our bodies react to sunlight. So let's dig into it a little further. UV radiation is part of the electromagnetic light spectrum that is produced by the sun. These wavelengths are shorter than visible light and they're invisible to the naked eye. So although you can see the sunlight and the light that comes from the sun, you can't see these UVB and UVA rays. So now let's look at UVA in detail. UVA rays account for up to 95% of the UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. They are 30 to 50 times more prevalent than UVB. They are present during all daylight hours throughout the year and can penetrate clouds and glass. UVA plays a major role in skin aging and wrinkling. It damages skin cells and it's the dominant tanning ray. So if you're going out into the sun on a cloudy day and you're still getting that tan, that's actually from the UVA rays. But keep in mind that it does damage your skin cells, so you don't necessarily wanna go out sunbathing on a cloudy day. If you're going to tanning salons to get a nice tan, they're actually using UVA rays. But the problem is, is that they're 12 times stronger than the rays coming from the sun. So people who use tanning salons are 2.5 times more likely to develop squamous cell carcinoma, which is a form of skin cancer, and 1.5 times more likely to develop basal cell carcinoma, which is another form of skin cancer. And using tanning beds at a young age can increase your risk of melanoma, which is the scary form of skin cancer, by 75%. So if you're using those tanning beds to get that nice sexy tan, you're damaging your skin and you're increasing your risk of cancer. Now let's look at UVB. UVB accounts for five to 10% of UV radiation. It's the chief cause of skin reddening and sunburns. It plays a key role in the development of skin cancer and photo aging. And UVB is strongest between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and that's only between spring and fall. And UVB is especially strong at higher altitudes. So here are some differences between UVA and UVB. They're obviously different wavelengths. UVB is a shorter wavelength and the shorter the wavelength, the higher the energy of radiation. UVA dominates UVB. 
and UVA is present during all sunlight hours. At this point, you may be a little confused because I started off the video by telling you all these benefits about vitamin D and sun exposure, and now you've just learned that the two primary forms of UV radiation can actually damage your body. And this is what's so confusing about this subject. So let's dig into it a little further. UVA penetrates the deeper layers of your skin and causes tanning. Okay, we know that. Both types of UV rays can cause skin cancer because they damage skin cells and alter their DNA. Both types of rays contribute to premature aging of skin. UVA rays can produce reactive oxygen species in the tissue. And if you didn't know that reactive oxygen species, those are free radicals wreaking havoc on your body. So that's all the bad stuff about UV radiation. But are there benefits? Yeah, we already talked about them, but here they are. UVA rays generate nitric oxide in your skin. This reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease by relaxing your blood vessels and lowering your blood pressure. UVA also kills bacteria, stimulates your brain, and helps defend against tumor cells. And UVB rays are able to photosynthesize vitamin D in your skin. This decreases your risk of at least 16 different types of cancer. It decreases your risk of cardiovascular disease, digestive disorders, autoimmune disorders, skeletal disorders, and chronic infections. It improves your brain function and boosts your immune system, and it decreases all-cause mortality. What does that mean? That means that you have less chance of dying from any of these diseases. So is UV light bad or good? It turns out that they're actually both good and bad. Let's simplify this a little bit. Let's look at the simple facts about sun exposure. Your body needs sun exposure for optimal health. You can't say that UVA and UVB are only bad or only good. And that's what most doctors are doing. You need sunlight exposure to set your circadian rhythm, which is necessary for deep sleep. There are other parts of the light spectrum that you need, such as infrared and red light, which transfers energy to your cells. And this is the most important part. The full blend of light wavelengths in sunlight enables your body to react in a balanced and beneficial way. In future videos, I'll go into all the different parts of the light spectrum and more on sunlight. But now you can see that UV light is neither good or bad. You actually need that full spectrum. So if anybody tells you to avoid the sun, they obviously don't understand the science behind it. And this is a very confusing subject. So take your time and review this video and look at some other research to really, really understand it. Now you might be asking, what should I do? That's a good question, thank you for asking that. You should go sunbathe, and you gotta sunbathe properly. You should be sunbathing at solar noon, which is 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's to get your UVB exposure. Because remember, UVA, you're getting all the time when the sun's out, but UVB, you only have that small window. And your shadow shouldn't be longer than the height of your body. There shouldn't be any clouds or windows. Because remember, UVB is weaker, so it doesn't go through clouds or windows. So it's a gloomy day in June. If I go out and sunbathe right now, I'm not gonna be getting exposed to that UVB. I'm only getting UVA at that point. And you wanna expose as much skin as possible. So you wanna be wearing your bathing suit, or if you can, go out there naked and have fun, but do it in your backyard or something. But you wanna expose as much skin as possible so that you get that UVB exposure and your body, your skin can help produce that vitamin D. You might be saying, Mike, this is great, but it's winter time right now, or I can't get out in the sun, I work inside too much. That's okay, it's June in California and it's really gloomy outside, so I can't go out and get my vitamin D from the sun or get that healthy sun exposure either. If you're in this situation, you have two options. You can either supplement with vitamin D or incorporate those vitamin D rich foods, or you can get a UVB light. What's that you asked? Great question, thank you for asking that. Phototherapy has been a big thing for a long time and UVB phototherapy is still relatively new. Phototherapy in general has been used to treat all sorts of skin conditions such as acne, eczema, vitiligo, and psoriasis. And there are two basic types of UVB light. There's broadband and narrowband. Broadband UVB lamps emit light in a broad range over the UVB spectrum. It emits both therapeutic wavelengths and shorter wavelengths, which can be harmful and burn your skin or cause skin cancer. Narrowband UVB lamps emit light over a very short range of wavelengths concentrated in the therapeutic range. 
This is known as the sweet spot, which is 311 nanometers. So you're getting all the therapeutic exposure to UVB without the harmful side effects. UVB narrowband lights have been proven as an effective treatment for acne, eczema, vitiligo, psoriasis, and mycosis fungoides. And with the UVB narrowband, you have fewer burning incidents than with the broadband. This is the best fluorescent lamp type for helping your body produce vitamin D. After a ton of research, we found a great UVB lamp from a company called Solark Systems. Now they make both the broadband and the narrowband UVB lights, but we use the narrowband because we want to use it to help produce vitamin D. One of the greatest features about the Solark lighting system is that you can buy one panel and that's enough for one person but you could add on to that over time, or you could just buy a whole set of them. So let's go check out ours that we have here. This may look like a closet to you. This is my wife's closet, but it's also our UVB light salon. So come on in and check it out. So this is the master panel that you get from Solark Systems. And this one you can add on to. We can have many more panels here, as many as we want. But right now we just have the one because of our space here and I have it mounted to the walls, but technically you could have it freestanding or have some kind of frame for the base and just be able to move it around your house. You can store it in your closet and then move it out of your closet if you have the, the space. But we have this nice walk-in closet where we have it right here like this. And there are two bulbs in this master panel. So before we get everything turned on, I'm gonna get my goggles on. Boom, to protect my eyeballs. Ooh, that looks nice. And then we just turn the switch on and hit power. And we're ready to go. So right now we have this little face protection shield right here. And this is just so we don't get too much exposure on our face. But if you want to expose your face, you can take this off like that. It's super simple. But right now I have my my chest exposed. If I wasn't on camera right now, I'd have my shorts off. I have shorts on right now, but right now <laughs> we're keeping it PG rated or G rated. All right, so I'm gonna do two minutes on one side and then I'll do two minutes on my back side. And maybe I can do it rotisserie style and I could just alternate like that. <laughs> like a ballerina, I can get under my armpits, whatever area you want to expose your skin to, it's just going to be awesome and beneficial. If you have any problem areas like acne on your face or vitiligo or psoriasis, you'll definitely want to use that UVB light because it's proven to be effective with those skin problems. So if I had acne on my face, I might want to take this little shield off just like that and expose my face and that's gonna be great for dealing with acne and other skin issues. Remember that sunlight is always the best option because you get that full spectrum of light and all of those benefits. But if you can't get out in the sun, supplementing and having a UVB light are also great alternatives. Thanks for watching guys. All the links to Solark Systems are down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already and welcome to the Green It Up Club. I feel so warm and nice. Ah, oh, just turn yourself like a rotisserie chicken. Roasting on the light. Get the back, get the side, get whatever side you want. And you can be naked too. You don't have to have a bathing suit on, you know, it's just you in your closet. Do your thing, man. No worries. You want to get up and up down, <laughs> up down. You want to get down in that area? Do it. Who cares? All right. It's just just gonna be good and beneficial for your skin. Even those nether regions down there.